I'm going to use this billiards clock to describe what is called the parallax error. Uh, parallax error is a sight of view error. Uh, Dr. Jack Culler with his billiards and science books doesn't believe in a dominant eye, but I'm going to provide a little bit of proof that could help him rethink his theory here. Well, if you look at a clock directly forward, you'll notice that that hand is on the eight ball there you would say it's 1240. If I look from this angle, you could also say, oh hey, it's 1240. Looking from that angle, you're going to get a different point of view of what time it is. The minute hand will be slightly off each angle that you look at the clock at. Now the, the eight ball, the balls being this big on the clock don't help me out a whole lot here. But if you look at a clock from one angle to another, you'll notice that the hand's going to be off just a tiny bit. That's the error because there's a distance between where the hand is at and the back of the clock. And that side of view error is called the parallax error. Because if you, you could make it look like that the second hand's not moving as you move over, looking at the second hand, or if you move over this way, it'll look a little faster because of your point of view, your line of sight. <coughs> Same thing can be said for a pool shot. If you're looking at your ball with your dominant eye, you're going to see the angle that you need to hit the ball at. If you're slightly off, you're going to be off anywhere from a quarter of an inch to maybe a whole inch or two, depending on whether you're left eye dominant, right eye dominant, right handed, left handed. What you want to do is put your dominant eye down the cue. If you're able to use both eyes and center it and you don't really have a dominant eye, by all means go ahead. But for the most part people only have one dominant eye. A way you can do this is line up your shot with your cue Look down with what you think is your dominant eye and close the eye that you think is not the dominant eye. You should be able to see straight down the shot and that should be the shot that you take. If you close the eye and you're way off on where your shot was at, your other eye might be the dominant one. If you can close either one of them and you're right in the middle of uh, each time you close one eye and open the other one, then you're probably double eye dominant. Each eye has 50-50 share and you should go right down the middle. But what you want to do is adjust your line of sight on top of your cue when you're lining up. Have your dominant eye looking directly down the shot. Straight in line with your cue directly down the shot. And it will greatly increase your chances of making the shot. I'll give a slight demonstration of what I mean. I'm going to put my dominant eye over the cue and line it up directly with the, the shot. When I'm lining up, I want my dominant eye looking straight down the shot where I'm aiming at. So my dominant eye will be directly over the cue. That will help you increase your accuracy by putting your dominant eye over the shot. It will also eliminate those little quarter inch offs on every shot. It will eliminate the half inch or two inches off. If you're two inches off you probably have more problems than a dominant eye issue or the parallax error issue where you're viewing it a little bit different. Another way to think of the parallax error if you're looking at that shot from this angle you're going to see a different angle to hit the ball at than looking at it from this angle. This angle it's a straight in shot looking at it from this angle it's a cut shot that's another way to view the parallax error. You've got to be directly in line in order to make it line up exactly right. 
That's why when you go to look at a clock, you go and look at it looking straight forward and not off to the one side or the other. If you look at it from one side to the other, you're going to get that error that I'm talking about. If you look at it straight forward, you're going to be able to line up and shoot straight down the shot with your dominant eye or dominant eyes as the case may be. And hopefully that answers the question of how come I'm off a quarter inch or a half inch or what's going on with my shot. And again, if you're off by two inches, it might be how you're stroking and hitting the cue ball and where you're aiming at on the cue ball. But for the most part, for the good player, it's going to be that little bit of error that you don't think about because your brain does not compensate for the error because a lot of people don't think about, oh, hey, how come I'm off a quarter inch? <clears throat> Hopefully understanding the parallax error will make you think about whenever you line up with your shot. I hope this helps somebody.